November 28, Powerful Prayer, Daniel chapter 10, verses 13 to 14. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me 21 days, and behold, Michael, one of the chief prince, came to help me, for I had been left alone there with the kings of Persia. Now I have come to make you understand what will happen to your people in the later days, for the vision refers to many days yet to come. The English poet and hymn writer William Cowper wrote, Restraining prayer we cease to fight. Prayer keeps the Christian's armor bright, and Satan trembles when he sees the weakest saint upon his knees. Kappa rightly recognized that Satan fears the prayers of God's people more than anything else. It's no wonder, therefore, when Daniel began to pray that he encountered spiritual opposition. His prayers actually created a phenomenal battle in the heavens. The angel sent to respond to his prayer was hindered by the prince of the kingdom of Persia for 21 days. This prince was not a mortal person like Daniel but apparently a fallen angel of great power. It was not until Michael, the angel often associated with Israel, came to help that God's messenger was able to overcome his adversary and deliver his message. Prayer is often described as simply talking to God and that's true. But it's also an act of spiritual warfare. When we pray, we are invading Satan's territory. Through prayer, we can defeat the plans of the devil and bring about events that will glorify God. These are not situations that Satan takes lightly. He will oppose sincere prayer every way he can. As you bow to pray, recognize that you are undertaking serious business, not just having a little chat with a good friend. You are engaging in hand-to-hand -hand combat with mortal enemy and crashing through his strongholds to enter the throne room of God. That's an incredible privilege. Don't take lightly. Prayer is not a playground, it's a battlefield. Amen.